So I'm here today to speak about uh, to speak to you about Sudan revolutions, uh, which happenings and uh, which uh, take place uh, at this moment right now at uh, Khartoum, which is the capital state of uh, Sudan, and also in uh, some parts and cities in Sudan. Um, so as you see here at the background. Uh, this revolution has been started on 19th of December last year, 2018, in uh, several parts of uh, cities in Sudan. And it was uh, the main reason was the uprising of uh, costs of livings. And then it turned quickly from demand for urgent economics into a demand for Umar al-Bashir, uh, who is the president of Sudan, to step down immediately. And just to let you know that Omar al-Bashir, he had been there since the year 1989, before I was born even. So he's my father, I can say. But he was just, he's just an, uh, an a bad father, to be honest. And uh, then uh, this uh, revolution is continue every day for the last four months since December 2018. And every day people were protesting in the streets and uh, the government responding in a violence, which is very, very bad and it's very sad that people had been killed in public with the gun shoots by the government. And now, until this moment, we have over than 105 people, and most of them, they are fresh age, and they had been killed in the streets in a public. And we have more than over 800 people, they've been arrested and they are in a jail. So I'm just going to, um, to speak more about women, Sudanese women, uh, like they're, they're helping and they stand next to the Sudan revolution and they make this uh, revolution to be great and to inspire and to reach all over the world as we see an examples here for a beautiful Sudanese women here. Her name is Ala Salah and she is a student and uh, she were protesting every day. And just like other Sudanese women, they were protesting every day against the Sudan regime and they were like fighting for their rights for the simple rights of living, such as food, such as uh, freedom, and other simple life requirements. Then, uh, these uh, protesters, it's actually organized by, by the people themselves, by the nation, and then it's developed to create an organizations, and it's, it's called uh, Sudanese Professionals Organizations, and those people, most of them, they are educated. They are doctors, engineers, teachers, and all over the professionals that had been in the community. This revolution had been every day increased. Then we reached the, the day uh, 22 of February. Our ex-president, Omar al-Bashir, he declared an emergency situation in the country that, like, he was announcing in a public that everybody is gone on the his his will out he will be out on the streets and he will demand for his right he will be killed immediately. Then the people they did not afraid at all. They continue every day their fightings and their belief that we need our freedom. This time is for us. This time is for Sudanese people. This time is not for Omar al Bashir or for Sudan regime. After declaration for the Umar al-Bashir of the state emergency in Khartoum and for uh, in other parts of cities in Sudan, on 6 April we have massive protesters that had been in, in uh, that uh, take, took place in Khartoum, and uh, it continues for from 6 April. And then after two days, the military have removed al-Bashir and he had been stepped down by the ability of the nation. But our problem now is that Umar al-Bashir, he is gone, but the government is, is still there. So there is no differences. 
the all thing that we had been fighting and the all people that had been killed and had been died in this regime since the year 1989. As you know, all of you, that we have a war, massive war in Darfur, in west of Sudan, and also in South Kordofan, in Nuba Mountains, and in Blue Nile. More people killed every day. Most of people, they died, they suffered a lot for nothing. Our demand is just we simply, we need our freedom. We just want to be a human being. And Umar al-Bashir and, and his government, they took this rights out of ours. And they let us remain with the racism and all the bad things that are happening in Sudan right now. Actually, this uh, revolution, it starts with a fresh age from the university students and then it continues every day to knock the doors for the human and for the people of Sudan. And we told them that it's our time, let's go and take the, thing, the, the right that had been taken away from us. So every day we see children, we see students, teachers, fathers, mothers, sisters, all of them, they are like on, in one hand and they stand in, in the face of the injustice. And we say that proudly, Umar al-Bashir and his government has to leave. <laughs> These photos here is actually, is this the people that we lost them in the last demonstrations, in the last uh, protesters. And uh, most of them are fresh graduated from universities. They just went out of the street and they demand peacefully that we need a better life. And the government responds in a violence and they did immediately. Our message for Sudanese people and for the all people in the world that Sudan is a great country and it will is still a great country. That pro our problem that we just have a bad government and this government one day will just live simply and we will celebrate at that moment. Now our demand is that we have a civil government which the military who handle the situations and who handle the issues of Sudan right now they refused. And they said we are going to lead these countries for the next two years and then we will have selections or elections. And we know as a Sudanese people, it's just another scenario and it's just another game from the government itself that is there. They want to extend more and they want to play the same bad games that had been played since the year 1989. But that is enough. We are not going to let them to react and to repeat the same thing that they had been doing. We had enough from war, from starvation, from hunger, from poverty, and it's our time, and Sudan will remain great as it is. Thank you very much. <laughs> May I please, I can just ask you gently, when the one thing that I want you to do, I just want everyone to stand up for a second, just to show respect for the old people that have been dead in Sudan and all other countries by the bad reaction from the government. And this moment, and this second has to be in a silence. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I hope everybody in every area, in every city, in every country will live and will die in a peaceful way, without war, without starvation, without suffering. We are human. We deserve a better life. Thank you. <laughs>